Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about a subject that I get calls on frequently, and that is, what are test cocks? Now when I say the word test cocks, I've got to get back to what we're referring to here. A test cock is an integral portion of a reduced pressure principle backflow prevention assembly. The test cocks are actually these little valves that you see on the side. In fact, I'm going to turn it a little different position so that you can see them. We have four test cocks on each backflow prevention assembly. Now again, this is a reduced pressure principle assembly. This particular model here is a 975XL2. We also have a model 375XL. They also have the test cocks. They just happen to be mounted on the top of the valve. Now, the purpose of test cocks are to allow a certified backflow tester to attach equipment to the backflow preventer to make sure that the backflow preventer is functioning correctly. So each test cock will give a pressure reading across this valve. For example, starting at the beginning with your number one test cock, that tells you the pressure coming into the backflow. The test cock next down the line, we refer to that as number two test cock, that'll also tell me the incoming pressure just before the first check. Test cock three tells me the pressure after the first check. And lastly, test cock four will tell me the pressure after the number two check valve. Now again, these test cocks are used by certified backflow testers to test the backflow on an annual basis to make sure that it's functioning correctly. Well, a customer will call to me and they'll say, well, you know, explain again the purpose, as we just did there to test the backflow preventer, but they also wonder how they work. Each test cock on these small diameter valves, and small diameter constitutes valves through two inch in size, they're nothing more than a little ball valve, and they have a screwdriver slot to open and close them. Now, this screwdriver slot on the top, you'll see when the slot is parallel with the valve, that indicates that it's open. That's going to flow water out. If you take your screwdriver and turn that 90 degrees such that that screwdriver slot is perpendicular to the direction of flow, that will shut off the test cock. A lot of times this question will come up when a new installation is done. Many times from the factory, the test cocks are left open or partially open so that they don't freeze and trap water. And the customer will call and say, well, what do I do with these water shooting out of it? Again, all you do is take a screwdriver and turn that screwdriver slot so that it's perpendicular to the direction of flow, and that will shut the test cock off. Now, if you have any further questions about these test cocks, give us a call at Zurn Wilkins. We're happy to talk to you about it. Uh, you know, they're, they're a straightforward product, but we can give you more information. We can tell you model numbers, etc. Or, for example, if one of them breaks, we do have replacements. So if you do have questions on these test cocks, don't hesitate to call us. We're happy to answer your questions.